How anybody wears these tops, I have no idea. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of two books. One is a friends to lovers romance titled What Are Friends For? And the other one is a fake relationship romance titled Out of My League. You can find the links to both those books in the description box below, as well as the link to some signed copies. Whew. Welcome back to my channel. Now, I want you guys to take a think back for a second. If you guys have seen my journey to publishing out of my league video, I'll leave it linked up in the cards. Um, it was a video where I talked about my journey to self-publishing my second book, but what ultimately was the book that, that helped me decide to propel my way into the self-publishing world that is so flippin' terrifying. To summarize that video, I was seeking the traditional publishing route from 2017 until the middle of 2019. So this time last year was when I decided that I was gonna go for self-publishing and forego the traditional publishing route. In that video, I mentioned why, so if you're curious about why I chose to switch from traditional publishing to self-publishing, go take a look at that video because I say why over there, but if you've seen it, you know why. And you'll have known that self-publishing was in my mind, but I never wanted to do it. Never wanted to do it. I didn't want to touch it. I know that I have these like desires and they never come true. Like I wanted to open an Etsy store at one point. I wanted to design t-shirts and look at me now. No Etsy store, never had an Etsy store and t-shirts what was I even thinking I have no idea so I was afraid that that's what self-publishing would be for me like this desire to publish a book and I would let it fall on the back burner because I didn't know what I was doing because self-publishing honestly was this like elusive thing that I had zero idea about I was so young and naive and I had no idea how self-publishing worked and it's evident however something pretty crummy happened to me about the end of July or maybe it was the middle of July Sometime in July last year, something pretty crummy happened with me in terms of, of my book um, and it left me feeling so beaten down and um, hopeless. So hopeless. I was like, this book is never going to get published. I'm never going to be able to publish it. My only route now is self-publishing and I have no idea how to do it. And why would I do it if I don't know how to do it right? And I was melting down. I was having a full-on panic attack. My dream has always been to be a published author. Ever since I was a little girl in first grade, when I wrote my first story, I knew that I wanted to be a published author. I didn't want to do anything else. I didn't necessarily want to be a big shot writer, but I wanted to be a full-time author for sure. People would ask me in high school, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it's like, oh, I want to be an author. Duh. And you know, you'd get those looks. But at this point, I'm like, great, my dream of being an author is gonna go down the drain because I have no idea what I'm doing. Honestly, that was a really, really low point for me. <laughs> really bad. And I wasn't wanting to give up on my dream, but I knew I didn't want to query anymore. And I knew I had zero idea about self-publishing, so what else was I going to do? But I want to say, if it wasn't the next day, it was at least like within a two-day range where Sarah Cannon came out with her first ever Publish and Thrive course. Now, if you've never heard of her Publish and Thrive course or if you've never heard of who Sarah Cannon is, Sarah is a, wow, that feels kind of weird to say my name and that's not meaning me, it's her name. Sarah is a successful indie author on wide platforms and she's also an author tuber here on AuthorTube. I'll leave her channel linked down below so you can go follow her because she is my biggest inspiration when it comes to self-publishing for sure. And I had known her um, videos because even though I was querying, I still watched them from time to time just because it was interesting to have another author's kind of perspective on everything and I loved those kind of like craft content videos and even though she's more geared for self-publishing, there were some marketing techniques that I kind of enjoyed listening to at the very least. She launched her Publish and Thrive course and it's a course all about self-publishing. It's a course where you can make the dream life for yourself, writing what you love, making money off of it, and truly thriving. And that's like the, on her website. And I completely 
agree. So I have the sign up page loaded up on my cell phone, so I'm gonna be reading a little bit from it here, um, just so you guys have an idea of what it is. So if I'm looking down, that's totally why. When I first looked at her course, um, I was blown away with how spot on it was that I needed. Really quick, let's go over the modules that um, were in this course, okay? So there is a welcome um, kind of module and it's called Starting Strong. And it's where students are encouraged to take a deeper look at what they truly want to accomplish in their writing career and their lives. Um, what does their ideal life look like? What do they want most from this career? And that sort of thing. Module one is titled Gearing Up for Success. And the topics will be like editing like a pro, writing your best novels, publishing in series strategy, finding cover art, setting up your website, creating your mailing list, social media account strategy and setup, deciding whether or not to use a pen name, and setting up your publishing accounts. Now that's just module one and let me tell you that alone is a ton of useful and helpful information that for me, as a newbie going into self-publishing, uh, setting up a mailing list, what's a mailing list? I'm not sure I knew. So let me go into module two, which module two is publishing vendors, including their royalty rates, a walkthrough video of how to publish at each site, hello, and more. The next discussion is Kindle Unlimited versus Y Distribution, details on print, ebook, audio rights, and production metadata and that includes keywords categories isbn's book blurbs descriptions taglines series titles book titles and more pre-orders copyright arcs and review teams for pre-publication buzz and formatting your books including proper back matter programs to use and more for me when i was looking over this i remember looking at these like modules and thinking okay i don't know and how to do any of this as somebody who is totally new to the whole publishing world, I had no idea what a copyright was, or Kindle Unlimited versus Wine Distribution, which one do I do and why? Like, is, is it that different? I mean, obviously it's different, but why is it different? I didn't know. Module three is titled Running Your Writing Business, and there you learn how to set up a business that works for you. Um, DBA, LLC, sole proprietor, S Corp. That's a huge thing that I knew I needed from a business standpoint, but I didn't know DBA, LLC, bunch of business terms that went right over my head. <laughs> so that segment alone was really interesting to figure out. And that's what helped me decide to form an LLC. I did talk with an accountant, a tax professional, um, but we decided to do an LLC and my LLC is Golden Crown Publishing, in case you were curious. Um, how to track your sales, managing your subsidiary rights, setting up a business budget, organizing your day and managing your time, paying taxes, Lord knows I needed that one, <laughs> calculating return on investment and why it matters, figuring out your sell through, and for those who are not in the US, Sarah has some resources available to help walk you through the process of setting up a business in your country. Now, 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 I've gotten a lot of questions about how I market my books, the strategies I use and where I learned those strategies and how to kind of keep prevalent um, in the marketing world. I love marketing my books. I think it's just the funnest thing ever to kind of create new promo images and do all this fun stuff. But I want to remind you that before this course, I had zero idea how to do any of that. I had zero idea why any of that was important. So this course completely taught me how to market my books. And that's really why I'm kind of showing you this course today and talking about it because I found it so beyond helpful. If I didn't have this course, I'm not even sure I would have self-published my book. And I'm not even saying that to be like dramatic at all, I swear. I, I don't even know what I would have done without this course. And I kind of bought it in mind to um, keep on the back burner because all these modules are available even after you finish the course. Like I still am rewatching the modules as I if, when I want to, um, if I want a little bit of a brush up. But if I have any questions, I can always refer back to the modules. And each new time she has a course, she does a live Q&A and I can still watch those live Q&As and interact on them, which is so helpful. However, going back to the course modules, 
I'm always asked about my marketing strategy and here is where I learned all the good stuff. So module four is all about marketing your books. Overall strategy, branding your author career and your books, using your newsletter effectively, reader magnets, the power of having a loss leader, different advertising options, box sets, cross promotion with other authors, launch strategies, and a launch checklist download. Now, module five is creating success that lasts. So in this module, they'll focus on how to manage your energy and time, being professional online, organizing your data to make things easier, setting up systems that support your business, how to handle criticism, we all need to know that, um, thoughts on building your fan community, goal setting, self-care and balance, and how to thrive long term. You'll get a ton of free downloads that help you kind of organize your um, like income, your sales, all that stuff. There are so many fun trackers and amazing trackers that I still use because it is so helpful to have all that information in one place. So the course runs for five weeks and it starts on August 10th and ends on September 15th. However, once you've joined the course, you'll have a lifetime access to the materials and all that stuff. Like I said, like I still go back and look at them to this day. So you'll be able to go back and look at them however often you'd like. And you can even take this course multiple times at your own schedule. I do have an affiliate code linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. If you do use that affiliate code, I will get a small percentage, but it's no extra cost to you. Um, if you don't want to use it, that is totally fine. If you go to Sarah Cannon's um, website, you can probably find it there and not use the code. That's totally okay. But for your convenience, I have linked it down below. You can sign up and pay the full amount or she's even offering um, monthly payments, which I think is so awesome because when you're first starting out, you might not have money to spend up front um, all at once. I think when I signed up, I used the monthly payments. Maybe I didn't, I can't remember. For me, I looked at it from a business standpoint. Businesses can't start without a startup fund, right? You gotta invest in your business before you can start making money off of it. And that is that was super important for me to think about. It's kind of like Vellum. Everybody knows that I use Vellum to format my books. And Vellum was an upfront cost of $249, I think. But I knew that I would be using it for all of my books in the future. So it was worth it for me. This course was worth it and then some. If I hadn't had it. I don't know what I would have done. So I did this testimonial. I can't remember when I wrote it. I think it was either last fall or in January. I remember emailing Sarah twice. I don't know if it was the fall time or the January time. I'm gonna read you my testimonial and you guys can hear how much I loved it way back when, okay? I found this course at one of the lowest points in my writing life. I was so afraid of self-publishing that I never wanted anything to do with it until I saw Sarah talking about publish and thrive. She made self-publishing seem possible for me, a 20-year-old who really had no idea what she's doing in the business world. She made me feel like an author and a girl boss. I'm gonna say, I know a lot of people don't like the phrase girl boss. I know it kind of has like a connotation with MLMs, which I don't condone at all. I've always kind of had this connection to like being powerful, and I know I could be a boss and not be a girl boss. That's a whole other conversation. Um, if you don't like the term girl boss, pretend I just said boss, okay? This course made me believe in myself and my own capabilities again. It shed light on every single question I had on the self-publishing world and made me realize it wasn't as impossible as I originally thought. Thanks to Sarah's course, I self-published my debut novel and I'm so proud, it was January, and I'm so proud of how it turned out. I absolutely couldn't have done this without this course, and I'm beyond thankful to Sarah Cannon for offering a tool that's helping me achieve, achieve my dreams. Also, I want to say that I wrote that entire text, I think I only stuttered once. Progress! <laughs> so that was my testimonial back in January. Good job. And I still 1000% believe in the amazingness of this course. And I wanted to share it with you guys because she put out an email to all of us alumni fun and she said that she is having the course again and I immediately thought of you guys. I get a lot of questions about marketing and self-publishing and reviews and all that stuff and I learned everything that I know from Sarah Cannon and from this course. As soon as she mentioned that she's having the course again I immediately knew 
I needed to make this video and let you guys know about it because it was a lifesaver for me and if I didn't tell you about it, I don't know what I'd be doing. I will shout this course from the rooftops forever. I am absolutely in love with it. Now, if you're interested in more information because I didn't read off every single thing on that sign up um, landing page. So if you wanted to go read more about the course, I will leave that linked down below. And don't forget that that is an affiliate code. So if you do purchase off there, I do get a small percentage to no cost to you. Go to that site and learn more about it. And if you think it's up your alley, I'm so excited to see you in the course because we are all on this like, communal group page where we can share each other's progress and ask questions and chat there and I'm super excited so yay so thank you guys so much for watching I know I'm getting progressively sweatier as the video goes on but I turned my air conditioning off so I'm kind of sweating um but thank you for watching this video let me know have you taken Sarah Cannon's course before are you interested in courses about self-publishing let me know down below but I'll see you on Friday with our final camp NaNoWriMo vlog bye guys <laughs> <laughs>